I swear after going like a week without wearing makeup and then putting makeup on again and lashes, I like looked at myself in the mirror and was just like, oh, whoa, calm down. Like these are lashes that I've worn before in the past, but since I've gone so long without wearing lashes, I feel like a psycho having them on now. But anyways, with that all aside, how are you guys doing? It's been so long. I have missed you guys so much. Like on my flight back home, I couldn't sleep because I was excited to like sit down and film. But then once I got home, I had kind of a case of jet lag. I was exhausted and I was tired. I'm still kind of like on the mend. I'm having problems going to bed at a decent hour at night. If you guys are like, what the hell is she talking about? I was in Hawaii last week. It was absolutely amazing. I like am dying to go back already. Normally when I go on vacations, like I kind of get anxious to get back home, but this time I had like zero urgency to get back. Like I could have just stayed there forever. If you guys are curious about my trip, I did upload a vlog. So I know, so weird for me, but I will go ahead and link that down below if you guys are interested. But today's video is going to be a haul. More importantly, a Sephora haul, which I'm actually super excited to share with you guys. These are products that I picked up during the VIB sale, so this is like a throwback haul, but I just didn't have time to film it before. Okay, so first off, I have this here. This is from the Sephora Favorites line. It's called The Great Cleanse. This retailed for $48, and then obviously during the VIB sale, you get an additional 20% off. I actually went ahead and ordered another one of these for my mom because I was so impressed with this set. Inside, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 products. There are some makeup removers, a whole bunch of cleansers, and then you have a exfoliator, which is the, is it Bosha or Basha? The Subaki Oil and exfoliating powder which I actually haven't used this one yet because I've been using dang it I knew I forgot to bring something I also bought the Tatcha I think it's the enzyme exfoli exfoliating rice powder I am so incredibly obsessed and impressed with that product like I cannot tell you guys enough about that I actually bought the smaller size which I believe was $15 I think the larger is 60 it is so, so good. If you're looking for an everyday, like, gentle exfoliator that leaves your skin feeling silky smooth, pick that one up. I will leave the link down below. It's incredible. I want to try more from the line now. But back to this. As you can see, you have an awesome variety of cleansers. When I saw this online, I was like, oh, that looks cool. You know, I'll pick it up because... At the time, I was trying to like stock up on travel size products for my trip to Hawaii. I was so impressed that when I opened this, the sizes of these cleansers was really impressive. Like a lot of them are 1.7 ounces, one ounce, there's two ounce cleansers. A lot of the things I pulled out, there was the Bosha, what is that sponge called? I can't think of it. Um, I took the exfoliating powder out even though I haven't used that yet, but you have some stuff by Fresh Origins, Glam Glow, Purity, or Philosophies Purity, which I know is really popular, the Alginus genius ultimate anti-aging melting cleanser which I already love another cleanser that I pulled out is the um what are you called the Bosha makeup breakup cool cleansing oil I really like that I think I actually like it more than the alginist one then you have the Ula Henriksen there's the Sephora waterproof eye makeup remover which I've actually heard a lot of great things about this and then I never remember how to pronounce this. Is it Caudalie or Caudalay? I'm not sure. Probably both of those are wrong. This is the Makeup Remover Cleansing Water, and that's a 3.38 fluid ounce size. So all of these products for $48, I thought was such a great deal. Like I said, I don't know if it's a permanent product, but if you're kind of like wanting to amp up your skincare and you're just wanting to try out a new cleanser, I think this is the way to go. It's such a great deal. So that was probably one of my most favorite purchases. We'll go ahead and get this one out of the way too. I cashed in 500 of my points for the Bumble and Bumble BB Hairdressers Invisible Oil Family. Once again, I picked this up for my trip to Hawaii because I wanted Hawaii. Sorry, now I'm in the habit of saying that. That's how Landon says it. The week leading up to the trip, he's like, I can't wait for Hawaii. So now like out of habit, I'm calling it Hawaii. <laughs> But yeah, I was wanting to pick up a whole bunch of travel size products. So I thought, thought this would be perfect. Everything in here, I want to say, was two ounces. The shampoo wasn't bad. The conditioner, I absolutely hated. I ended up using it once and then I just left it at the hotel. I was like, I am not even going to bother bringing it back. It made my hair feel so dry. And the shampoo is kind of one that completely strips your hair. I just haven't had good luck with Bumble and Bumble shampoos or conditioners. Their styling products I like, but their shampoo and conditioner, I just, I don't know, especially for the price, I wasn't impressed with either of those. But the oil that comes in here, the heat UV, I'm sorry, not the oil, the heat UV protective primer, I really, really liked. 
I don't know what it was about that. I had put it in my hair when it was still wet and then I just let my hair dry naturally because I honestly never blow dry my hair. It just takes way too long. My hair is too coarse and too thick for that and I get way too hot. I just, no, ain't nobody got time for that. So yeah, this product just made my hair dry like really nice naturally. Like it just looked smooth. It didn't have like weird kinks in it. So that product I really did like but the other two were just not my cup of tea. Okay. Sticking with a couple more travel size products once I get onto something then it's like I get obsessed with it And I was like I want travel size everything so I got this guy. This is from the brand. I believe Tony Moly. Yeah This is the pandas dream so cool eye stick serum I'm not even gonna lie I bought this because it's so freaking cute and I have like the mama panda That's the hand cream. So I just feel like they go so well together. This is just a little cooling stick It's this pretty baby blue color if you guys have ever felt the Embroilise eye stick, it's very similar to that. Like it goes on feeling wet and cold. I don't know how hydrating it actually is because once you rub it in, it's like it almost dries instantly to where it feels like nothing's there. But it is a good like kind of wake me up product in the morning. I wanna say this was nine bucks. Was it worth it? No, but is the packaging worth it? Absolutely. He was just so freaking cute, I couldn't pass up. This eyelash is wanting to like flip up, like it's going upwards get it together okay next I picked up this once again from that font Cimarron Caudalie or Caudalie this is the beauty elixir smoothie smoothing <laughs> smoothing and glowing complexion I want to say I heard Lisa Eldridge talk about this like forever ago in one of her like travel essentials video and I was like that just looks so fancy and I want it I got it it was like I want to say $18 for this tiny bottle which is only one ounce that was kind of a splurge for me. I don't know, but during the VIB sale, like my mind just goes into another dimension. I'm like, yes, I need all the things. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> Hi. They deliver a mail next door. Oh, they brought it? What's in there? Ooh, what's that big bag? For me. Aww. Did anything come for me? When it comes to the mail, I am like the biggest spoiled brat. I just automatically assume everything's for me. I know that's bratty, but whatever. Anyways, so back to the beauty elixir. For this being $18, it just didn't like rock my socks. I was a little bit disappointed. I can't lie. Will I be keeping it? Yes. I do feel like it gives my face like a nice glow. Does it make it look any smoother? No. But I feel like if Aaron Samuels had been sitting next to me, had of, if he would have been sitting next to me on the airplane, he would have told me that my face smelled like peppermint. This smells like super, super strong spa water, like mint and citrus and I don't know it smells really good but it's really strong so I felt kind of bad spraying that on the airplane because I didn't know it was gonna be that strong so I'd like spritz my face three times and the lady behind me was like hacking up a lung so I felt bad I was like I hope you're not allergic to anything in here okay um moving along oh this is something that I'm so excited about where's the other one this is a product that I seriously cannot get enough of these three products are from the in-house Sephora brand I don't know if you guys are like me, but I tend to always overlook that just because there's so many other things that are catching your attention. So you just always kind of like overlook that whole Sephora bar, at least I do, until now. I was on this crazy like hot, like neon type of coral kick. You'll see that throughout this video. So I picked up these three blushes. They're all from Sephora and I cannot get enough of them. Okay, I'll go ahead and get like the least exciting one out of the way. I feel bad saying that because I really do like it. This is the cream blush in Coral Rose. Oh no, Coral Flush. I don't know if I've already shown you guys this because this is the oldest one I have. That's the only reason why it's like the least exciting because the other two are like somewhat newer purchases. This is a cream blush that is absolutely gorgeous. It actually reminds me quite a bit of NARS Orgasm, but I feel like there's more of a gold shimmer in this and I don't know sometimes NARS orgasm doesn't look that great on me I feel like this one looks way better you know what I feel like I have already shown you guys this okay so moving on to the other two these two are products that you absolutely have to pick up if you're into bright blushes the first one is the let's see it's just the orange pop what are you called just their normal powder blush I believe these ones you can get on clearance in store though because they like revamped their packaging so I think it's just like a flat disc rather than having this like curve to it this blush is absolutely amazing the blush that kind of inspired these purchases was Tom Ford's is it called flushed 
Laura had purchased that and it looked absolutely amazing. I was like, I want it, but I just can't bite the bullet. This one we actually swatched next to hers, like what, the last time she was over. And we both agreed that both of these were like just as pretty. I believe the Tom Ford one has a shimmer in it and this one doesn't. But here is Orange Pop. It's just like a straight up like neon pink coral color. Over a tan, it looks so pretty. And over this cream blush, like I absolutely love it. The other blush, this is probably my favorite out of the three. It's this is so freaking pretty. Like this is a blush that I feel like will flatter any skin tone. I'm like, my mind's getting so excited to where I like cannot get my words out. Calm down, Dana. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth Duo or B Baked Blush Duo. Sorry, that's confusing because there's like the French version on the top. This one is in number three, Guava Glow. So on one side you have more of kind of like just a matte, satin type of shade and then the other side you have a shimmery or baked blush you can do them separately or swirl together i'm oh i'm so in love i feel like it's better when you swirl it all together your cheeks just look super glowy and like plump but in a good way it's just Oh, all three of these blushes. I just cannot get enough of that whole like coral color family. So if you guys are going to get any of those, get the Guava Glow. Like I promise it will not let you down. Okay, speaking of blushes, the other one that I picked up, also speaking of Laura, because this was a recommendation from her, this is the Makeup Forever HD Blush, Cream Blush in number 410. Surprise, surprise, you guys, another coral color. I got this to wear or to use as a, what? base i cannot think right now a base for one of the mac blushes that i purchased this is so freaking pretty though even on its own this with one of the sephora blushes that i just showed layered on top is absolutely gorgeous um what else let's see oh i picked this up as well this is a product i'm gonna have to try it one more time because i haven't used it for what like a week now this is the makeup forever pro sculpting duo i wanted this like as soon as i saw it on tentalia a while ago and i picked up number two which is the darker of the two mainly for the highlighter shade the number one is more of a pink shade this one is a gold when you swatch these they're like butter they're so smooth I don't know if I'm doing something wrong I've gone in with like a dense brush a lighter blush or not blush brush and it's like they just don't apply well it's like it doesn't transfer onto my skin I don't know what the deal is hold on let's try this again maybe it just wasn't I don't know I don't know if I just got one that just doesn't come off well and I tried like rubbing it to see if there was like something over it like an over spray type thing and I don't know it's just not working for me so I think this is gonna go back I'm gonna play with it again one more time tomorrow if it doesn't work then it's just gonna go back because I want to say it was 30 something dollars and yeah that's ridiculous to pay that much and then have a product that's just not working out okay another old faithful product that i picked up once again in a travel size is the la vanilla pure vanilla healthy deodorant i love this stuff the smell of it is so good it's not an antiperspirant though it's just a normal deodorant so keep that in mind but if you like vanilla scents you will love that okay this i picked up this is the josie moran coconut watercolor lip stain and shine i got mine in the deepest shade which was berry bliss but on one side you have a lip stain and then on the other you have a really nice gloss the gloss is actually pretty pigmented too it's not like super super sheer it's right there so it's cute if you use the marker side and kind of like Fill in the center of your lips, like just the inner center of your lips, and then go with a gloss all over. Kind of gives you that like popsicle effect. It is pretty, but for 20 something dollars, I don't know if it's really worth it. I feel like you could get the same exact effect if you picked up one of the Revlon Just Bitten um, marker stains and then just got like a coordinating gloss. Okay, then just to give you guys a heads up, these next couple products were PR samples that I was sent, but I just wanted to ask you guys, are like blush swatches really a thing? Like is that something you guys would be interested in seeing or no? I'm sure lots of people have already done um, swatch videos or reviews on these. But I got a couple of the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Blushes. I have, I thought I had another one. Um, I only have five of the shades here but there's like a nice assortment of colors. There's some like neutrals, pinks, and oranges. I love the packaging on these. I especially love this one right here crush because once again i'm just like all about these pinky shades i love the packaging though okay then i also received a whole bunch of the new urban decay eyeshadows there were a couple that i really wanted to share with you guys okay there's die fart which is a really pretty blue then there's a really pretty purple called backfire but if you guys watched a couple videos back i did a tutorial using the urban decay moon dust shadow in solstice 
I'm obsessed with that shadow. These three here though are some other duochrome shadows that are absolutely gorgeous. This one here has like a pink base but then has like a gold type of duochrome. This one is called Fireball and then there is Sideline and Lounge. They're just all so pretty, so smooth, so pigmented. I absolutely love them. Okay, I picked up two MAC lip liners. Oh no. This one, I don't know where it is right now. I think it's in my purse. Okay, I won't show you guys that one. Um, right here I have Nightingale, which is so pretty. I've actually only used this once so far. I went with two deep purple shades. Um, here this one is. This one doesn't go on too, too deep on though. It's more of like a deep purpley pink. So pretty, I love it. Okay, one product that I received as a press sample that I did wanna share with you guys though is this one here. This is the Marc Jacobs, what is this line called? New Nudes Sheer Lip Gel. Okay, I'm not the biggest fan of nudes. It's just something that I guess I have yet to get used to, but I feel like I've been branching out more and getting a little bit more comfortable with wearing them. So if you guys are anything like that, this is a pro this is a color that I think you this is a product oh my god so annoying this is a color that I think you guys should really try out just because sometimes nudes are really hard for me to find because I don't like a nude that's too brown but then I don't like a nude that's like too pale either the nude has to have like just the right amount of kind of like neutral pinky undertones in it and this one does of course the name's gonna be something annoying a nice a niece I'm not sure but how cute is the packaging too I love the shape of the bullet it's right here. This is such a pretty and flattering nude. This was one that I did pack with me because the more I wear it, the more I really do like it. I've been topping it off with the Chanel Glossomer in, is it 131? 131 or 130. I know the shade name is Mica. I love that lip gloss. I'm obsessed with it. That layer on top of this is absolutely gorgeous. I just love it. Oh, and just go ahead, I'll show you guys this in this haul too. I picked up two MAC blushes. Ow, I just pinched my finger. I can't remember the name of this one though. I don't know, I'm not like super huge into MAC. Some people can like look at something and be like, oh, that's this, 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 that's permanent, that's limited edition. I'm just not super into MAC, so I'm not like that like crazy about the names. I think this one, was it like cantaloupe or melon or something? Oh, I can't remember. But this one right here is absolutely gorgeous. It's the one that Laura recommended to me to use with the Makeup Forever blush. And then, I suck, hold on, let's see if I can pop this out. Okay, so this first one, oh, it was Modern Mandarin. I was totally off. But this layered with that Makeup Forever cream blush is absolutely gorgeous. Even if you layered it with the Sephora blush, that would be a really pretty combo too. And then this one here is called, okay, this one is Cantaloupe. I had them totally backwards. These two colors, I don't know, I looked at them and I was like, they don't look that special. But Laura was like, I promise if you wear them, you're gonna love them, and she was right. Once again, just another product that adds a really nice kind of a glow to your cheeks. Okay, I feel like this video was like a 12 years long and it was totally scatterbrained. I know, I'm sorry. I just got excited to sit down and then it just all went from there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you guys have any other requests or anything, be sure to leave those down below. My May favorites should be up very soon as well. I did film it. It's just me sitting down to edit it. So hopefully I can get that done tonight. This eyelash, oh my gosh, he's about to come off right now. It's just so wonky. But yeah, I love you guys all so much and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.